Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Activities for People Living at Home with Dementia. My name is Gail Snyder. I'm the Executive Director for Dementia Friendly Fort Worth, and we are proud to offer this program in conjunction with funding through the Area Agency on Aging and the United Way. This is a recorded program, and today we are going to play Jeopardy. Okay, can everybody see? Yes, we have. Okay, so there's three teams, and um, but I'm just, since it's just the three of us, I'm going to let each of you be on a team, and I'm just going to manage the game. Okay? okay. So who would, our, our um, theme is hobbies. So who would like to go first? Oh, I'll go first. What the heck? Okay. Okay, so Patrick, which one would you like to choose? Let's do camping for $300. Okay, you must know a lot about camping. <laughs> okay, so here's your question. Rolled up in the truck is a gray amorphous mass that I will bring to the tent. Laying it out on the floor, I attached a foot pump and mash it several thousand times as the amorphous mass uncoils. What have I found now? An air mattress, fishing gear, a meat smoker, or a hammock? What is an air mattress? Very good. You didn't even give me time to play the music. <laughs> I'll give you time next time. Okay. Let me get back. To, okay. So you're going to be team one. So you just got $300. And it is, what is an air mattress? Okay. Steve, it's your turn. Let's do fishing for 200 Fishing for 200 which of these is not normally used as bait when fishing? Potato, maggots, worms, or sweet corn? What is potatoes? What is potatoes? What is potato? All right. We got 200. All right, Patrick. Oh, let's see. Let's do camping for 200. All right. Next out of the trunk is a square green boxy apparatus that will sit on the table and cook eggs and bacon. It will have a gas cylinder attached. If only I can find it in this mess. What am I setting up? A camp stove, ironing board, Steam table or a waffle iron? What is a camp stove? Very good. All right. Steve. Let's do uh, crafts for 300. Crafts for 300. This craft involves using a needle, thread, and fabric. The end result may be quilt, clothing, or maybe a pillow sham. What craft is this? Sewing, calligraphy, embellishment, painting. What is sewing? What is sewing? We may have to find a little more advanced game. This one's too easy. People <laughs> are getting everything right. Okay, Patrick. Oh, let's see. Crafts for 400. Crafts for 400. This craft may use different shapes of cut glass that vary in colors to create a picture of some kind. The end result could be a lamp, a window, or many other things. What craft is this? Wood carving, stained glass, painting, or origami? What is stained glass? Very good. All right, Steve. Okay, I got to keep up with them, right? 
Yep. Okay. Let's try fishing. 400. Let's try fishing for 400. All right. Which of these is the larger fish? A carp, a wahoo, warsaw, grouper, or parrotfish? Hmm. And I think wahoo, warsaw is one fish. Yeah. I'm going to say grouper. All right. What is grouper? Oh, War oh, Warsaw, you got it right because you said grouper. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Game's tied up. I need to put commas between the... I know, that's... That'd be the, the uh, answers. Yeah. Oh. All right. Patrick? Uh, let's do camping for 400. Packed into the corner of the trunk are some downy lumps in nylon bags that I have yet to throw in the tent. The kids can't be sleeping in the master bed, not after I spent all of those hours pumping the darn thing up. They will cuddle into these items and get zipped in as toasty as anything. What am I throwing in the tent? Shower enclosure, laundry hamper, clothesline, or sleeping bags? What is sleeping bags? What is sleeping bag? All right. Steve? Camping for 500. Camping for see if I can beat him. <laughs> okay. The last item I went for in the trunk is probably the most necessary item in the whole lot, yet it's so small it gets stuck in the farthest cranny. It's a handy leverage point on one end and a really good and really good ones have a corkscrew and possibly an LED on the other end. What invaluable object am I searching for? Hacksaw, bottle opener, tackle box, or tent peg? What is a bottle opener? What is a bottle opener? All right, now you just went up above Patrick. All right, Patrick. Oh, let's see. Y'all must be scared of sewing. <laughs> oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh -huh. Let's do crafts for 200. Sewing's going to be our tiebreaker. That's okay, right. <laughs> that's right. To make a pinata, one might begin by placing strips of paper into a solution and then placing them onto a balloon. When the design is completed, the paper will be allowed to dry and then pop the balloon. The end result is a lovely pinata filled with candy. What craft is this? Paper mache, wood carving, sculpting, or painting? What is paper mache? What is paper mache? All right. Steve? Let's do a craft for 500. Let's see if I can just blow this out. Here. All right. This craft involves writers dipping nibs into ink with the end result being elegant handwriting. What craft is this? Origami, brushwork, wood carving, or calligraphy? What is calligraphy? Very good. I think that's something I'd like to, a craft I'd like to try to do. All right, Patrick. Oh, let's go fishing for 500. Go for it. All right. Mm -hmm. Wants to get ahead of me. <laughs> yep. Which type of fish is known for speeds up to 500 miles an hour? Bass, wahoo, giant grouper, or catfish? Wow. Um, what is bass? What is bass? Okay. You think you really know it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go for it. Ah. Wahoo. Wahoo. 
All right. Didn't get that one. Okay, Steve. Let's do fishing for 300. You want to catch a huge bass from shore. What time is the best time to do so? Noon, evening, or two o'clock, or morning? What is morning? What is morning? Very good. But when I first looked at this one, I thought that was two o'clock in the morning, not two o'clock and then morning as a separate one. That's why you need the commas. They need to put the yes. commas. Yes. <laughs> I didn't design it. I just picked one they had available. Okay, Steve or Patrick. Oh, uh, let's go for uh, sewing for 300. If someone uses your good, sharp sewing scissors to cut something other than fabric, what can you cut to give them back at least a little of their edge? Cotton batting, a thin fabric such as silk, sandpaper, or a thick fabric such as corduroy? What is sandpaper? What is sandpaper? All right. I fuss at my family when they use my sewing scissors. Oh, my mother was a sewer, and if we, she caught us using anything, <laughs> her sewing scissors on anything, which we just got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Steve? Well, I'll go out and venture sewing for 400. All right. Tool. Oh, and I don't know how to say that. Tool and tool is what it looks like to me are different terms for the same fabric. True or false? I'll say true. All right. Let's see if we got there. What is false? Okay. All right. I didn't know that either. All right, Patrick. Oh, sewing for 500. He wants to get up there. Yep. <laughs> On a sewing machine, what, you, what do you call the part which holds the fabric in place? A fabric gauge, a surface plate, a tension rod, or a presser foot? What is presser foot? That one. Yep. I guess uh, you have an advantage because your mother was a sewer. <laughs> yep. All right, Steve. Uh, I got to catch up at least. So let's do uh, half for 100. Okay. Oh, okay. What board game involves climbing and falling at various points on the board? Shoots and ladders. Hungry, Hungry Hippo, Hi-Ho Cherry-O, or Uncle Wiggly? What is Shoots and Ladders? All right. Now we're tied up again. Patrick? <clears throat> oh, let's go board games for 500. What the heck? What board game is almost like Scrabble, but still different in detail? Boggle, Scrabble, Upwards, or Risk? What is Boggle? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve. Uh, let's do crafts for 100. This craft can use many different colors on canvas or anything the imagination can come up with. There are many different styles such as abstract, still life, and impressionism. What craft is this? Picasso, sculpting, painting, origami. What is painting? What is painting? 
All right. Patrick? Oh, sewing for 200. When you make a mistake in sewing, what essential tool might you need? A pin cushion, a seam ripper, a serger, or a sewing gauge? What is seam ripper? Very good. Yep. All right, Steve? Mm, let me think here. We'll do fishing for 100. We're going to leave the big ones to last. Okay. Which of these is not a real fish? A catfish, a hamster fish, a dogfish, or a goldfish? What is a hamster fish? All right. Patrick? Oh, sewing for 100. What is the most common way to put together your fabric pieces when sewing seams? Wrong sides together. It doesn't really matter. One right side to one wrong side or right sides together. This is a trick question, I think. When sewing seams. Oh, uh, right sides together. What is right, right. sides together? You got it. Hey, right. Steve. Camping. For 100. I have a rolled up camping habitation in the trunk. It's a marvel of modern engineering with a waterproof floor and zippered doors. What am I unpacking? A tent, a camp stove, a water cooler, or a camp stool? What is a tent? She didn't even check the answer on that one. I know. Oh. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. Yeah. Did I did I already add money? Yes, yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. That one was too easy. I guess that's why it was only worth a hundred dollars, huh? Yeah, probably. All right. Patrick. Oh, let's see. Let's do board games for three hundred. What board game is, according to its manufacturer, the most popular game in America? Taboo, Boggle, Scrabble, or Upwards? What is Scrabble? Yeah. What is Scrabble? All right. Steve? You're up next. Well, there's no way I can win. I know that unless he loses one. Let's do 400. All right. I'm not sure if I'll do anything. In which board game does one try to fire up on each other's war vessels? Risk, battleship, checkers, or chess? What is battleship? What is battleship? All right. All right, Patrick. Now, you, you Patrick, get this one you won. <laughs> <laughs> Which board game oh, allows you to oh, buy property? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is Monopoly? <laughs> what is Monopoly? <laughs> that one, that was, one was too easy, too. For yeah, the it was. That was too yeah. easy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Close Let's game. Go. Close game. That was. It's too. It's too bad. There's not a way where it has a. A bonus question or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Or if you could go back to the ones that you get wrong and answer them again without get without the answers. If I could only see the answers and y'all not see the answers, then we could have let the other person guess the ones that somebody got wrong. Right. It could have changed the game. So now that now here's the question. I, Patrick, I don't know if you were on, but the other day um, I talked about a game that we play that whoever starts the game is always the winner. Really? So I wonder if 
this game because you started and you won the game. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> but that kind of takes the fun out of it if that's what really happens. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, where did you come up with that? Where did you read that information? Uh, it happened. We have a game that our family plays called Catan. And you roll the die to see who goes first. And whoever gets the highest number gets to put their um, characters on the board first. And that person always wins the game. Really? Huh. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So I didn't read it anywhere. It's just something that we figured out over the process of multiple rounds of games. <laughs> so does everybody try to get the highest numbers now first? <laughs> That's something that happens by chance. Yes. So, <laughs> but we've tried thinking, is there something we need to tweak in the um, the guidelines or the rules of certain things you can do? Because it's one of those games where you you can buy or trade resources from another player, mm -hmm. and that plays into the game, and it's, a, it's also strategy of where you place your characters on the board when you first start the game. But everything's controlled by a die. But so far, every time we play it, the person who put their characters on the board always wins. Wow. <laughs> so, so what's your favorite game that's a board game? What's my favorite game? Uh-huh. Oh, gosh, it's been so long since I played one. Um <clears throat> Do I have a choice? <laughs> no, I'm just asking. A, uh, <laughs> no, I, I was going back guess, to our category, so I, I can guess ask Monopoly would those. be my favorite game because it's really yeah. Okay, what about you, Steve? I don't really have a favorite one. I don't play a lot of board games. You don't play a lot of board no. games. All right. Oh. So I think both of you have been fishing before. Is there a particular type of fishing you enjoy more? I haven't been very many times, but ice fishing. Ice fishing. Where did you go ice fishing? In Alaska? In Minnesota. Minnesota. Okay. Patrick, what about you? Uh, I haven't been fishing in a, in a really long time. I guess probably since my, my kids were younger, probably, you know, 30 years ago. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was just fishing at the local lake or at a yep. pond? Yeah. <clears throat> so neither one of you are those uh, type of fishers who pay to go on fish tours? No. Oh, no. I did fishing tours? No. I, those guys cost like $400 a day. <laughs> yeah. But you usually catch something. You usually catch something, yeah. They they usually guarantee that you'll catch, do some catching. Yeah. yeah. I have some family members who have done that in Alaska and shipped home pounds of fish really i've got all the stuff i've got the rods and the reels and the tackle but and i was going when i retired i said i'll pick up fishing again right but i just don't want to deal with the smell <laughs> <laughs> even if you catch and release you still got the smell yeah 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 um, and on having outside is not bad, but once you put it in your vehicle, it's going to smell. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So I decided not to. I would let my my son-in-laws get them. Yeah. So so do you like to eat fish? Oh yes, I love fish. What's yeah. your favorite kind of fish to eat? I'd say probably salmon. Salmon. salmon? Yep. Yeah, I like salmon. For you too, Patrick? Yes, salmon is my favorite. Okay. I like um, fish that's more white. Mm -hmm. The most unusual fish that I ever ate is I have eaten barracuda. Wow. <laughs> How was that? So I went on a missions trip to Liberia, West Africa while I was in college. And we went to a hotel to have a, a meal at a nice restaurant. And... Barracuda was on the menu, and I decided I'm never going to be here again. 
I'm never going to have this opportunity again. So I'm going to get something that I can't get anywhere else. And so I ordered barracuda and it was a piece of white fish that was almost an inch thick. Yeah. And it had um, lemon butter sauce on it and it was delicious. Was it really good? Yeah, that was good. It's, it was it's like shark. Mind. It's like yeah. shark. Shark is You're like that. Shark? Too. I've had it before. Yeah. I have never seen it on a menu anywhere else. And that was well, in Novia, was, West Africa. It was in Thailand. You know, one of these little yeah. places in Thailand on the coast. Yeah. Yeah. But a, a flaky white fish, so good. Um, so good. I do like cod. You know, now there's a couple of, most of these are, of course, I say are saltwater. Freshwater fish varies a lot in flavors. Uh huh. A lot in flavors. Um, I used to, growing up, when I used to like pike when I was growing up, the last time I had it, it was just bland. Mm -hmm. There was no flavor to it at all. So, you know, after eating, even tilapia had more flavor than the pike had. Right. Tilapia doesn't have a lot of flavor in it. And so, um, I probably won't run out and get some pike next time, northern pike or something like that next time. Yeah. So. Well, I grew up on catfish because my grandfather loved to go catfish fishing. And he would put out trot lines. And when we went on summer camping trips, that was what he was fishing for. So um, that's the fish I've had the most, and I like it. Um, but I like it fried in the cornmeal batter with fried potatoes and red beans and cornbread. Mm -hmm. I never had catfish till I moved out. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people don't like it. Yeah. Um. It's not a common fish in North Dakota. Yeah. Catfish. And uh, they have bottom feeders kind of like that up there, but they don't eat them. You right. know, they're just not good fish at all. Yeah. There's better fish to eat, so they just right. leave those alone. Yeah. yeah. So if they catch those, do they throw them back? Most of the time. They're there just to clean out the junk in the water. Right. Bottom. Right. You never know what they've eaten. Right. But never know <laughs> That's what That's what a lot of people say about catfish, but I didn't know that when I was growing up. That was the, you know, yeah. if we yeah. have fish, that's what we had. So, yeah. all right. Well, I'm so glad you both joined us today for this activity, and you'll have to let me know if you enjoyed it and if you want to play again, and I'll try to sure. find a more challenging game for next time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's all it's all in the choices you choose, you know, category. Right. But I think in the real Jeopardy game, do they always give you the multiple choice of what the answers are? No, I don't think yes. they do. They? I, I don't do? know. I no, don't, I don't think so. I don't think they give you a multiple choice. You, you have to come up with the answer. Right. right. If yeah. it didn't give those choices, I think this would have been a better game. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I, I – I, when I did it with school, I did it with multiple choice because, you know, sometimes the the the, the terms and definitions were so intricate, they're almost the same. Right. So you had to, I had to make a distinguish. Right. right. That yeah. helped them distinguish right. between two terms that could right. be um, mixed up. Right. Yeah. I'm going to have to look up that one sewing question about tool. Yeah. I, I, I think in my mind, and I know I got it wrong, I think tool is more of a, a um, remember right now, it's more of a. Um, there it is. Um, I can't think of the term now. It's more of where you're, uh, oh, come on, Brian. Is one of them a, a method? I, I think, well, in my brain, I think one of them is like a finished seam. Um, I'm going to look at it very quickly. Okay. Oops. Uh, Thule is a fabric. 
That's so the let me, one. Julie is a fabric. Let me look at the other one. The toilet is a fabric too. But it's not, not the same. Fabric. They're not the same fabric. Uh, okay. No, they're not the same, but they're both fabrics. Um, so one of them is a fabric that's kind of like a netting. Yeah, what one is the other one? Probably is linen, cloth, or canvas. Okay. And the uh, tule, I think, is more of the 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 whatever you call it, whatever you like say. a mesh or a netting. Yeah, type yeah, fabric. yeah, yeah. And it can be different degree right. of stiff. Right. Yeah, the, the toilet basically they can they do a lot of imprints on it. Okay. And so they're printing different designs on it and things like that. It's from France. Okay. I think a lot of those original wall coverings that they used in the right. walls were those that's what it was. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Learn something new about fabric today. Yeah. All right. Well, that concludes our game and our time for today. So let me kind of switch my screen just a minute. Okay. So Monday is our Ageless Grace Movement Program at okay. 1030. So I hope you all take a chance and join us for that. It's a seated activity, but it combines movement um, with um, your brain. So it's moving your brain and your body, and it's put to music, and there's some fun music that it's, a, that it's um, connected with. Okay. 30 Monday morning. All right. All right. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Thank you. You too, Gail. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.